Alan Santos. Batting third, the center fielder. Hello guys, I'm Mikar Santos, aka Happy Pranata, and welcome to another edition of MLB The Show 22. So, we're in the AA playoffs, so, as I'm doing these last few games of the regular season, I mean, it's been a struggle at bat to get a base hit or, you know, prevent myself from striking out, and and I continue to make those kind of habits, you know, and in the other part of uh, day five, man, I just keep getting intimidated by the pitchers, you know. Like, be yourself. Keep, you know, doing things that make you get bases, you know, and it's not that hard, you know. Like, if you think about getting home runs instead of getting a base hit in the infield, then basically you can just, you know, you're not going to do well in baseball and your IQ is going to be low. So, yeah, that's probably the answer to my problem, you know. My IQ Q is not up to par with the exception of fielding in the outfield, you know, on defense. I can do that part, but... Those base hits, they just don't come easy on me, you know. So, here's an example. Well, I do get a base hit there, you know. Yeah, I guess two in a row is helpful. Yeah. Let's see if I'm going to do anything. And, a four -pitch walk. and I will think that guy walked. <laughs> One out. Zero balls and two strikes. And a swing and a miss. Strike out there. Two outs. Base is full. Now it's the DH. Brendan Donovan. Yeah, baseball can be quite fun, but... To an average fan, yeah, delay of games are just what takes off people. Like they want action, you know. And I, I don't want baseball anymore because Apple Blue Holes went to the NI main jokes, and he didn't do much there. I wish he was a St. Louis Cardinal for life. So I want baseball, but yeah, either. Way with his home run records. I think he's top 10. I'm not so sure. But, yeah. He'll retire as a St. Louis Cardinal for sure. So, so that's basically all I have to say about this MLB The Show 22 career mode. So, I make a happy car. Go ahead and watch the rest of the video as it's only. Uh, not only, <laughs> it's a 40-minute marathon video, so go right ahead. I'm a cap turn on five. Y'all have a great day, and peace out. So up next, Luis Rodriguez. The center fielder, number 12. Right-handed reliever. In the air, center field. Santos in position. And that is that. Right, Here's right the here, center right fielder, Alan Santos. <laughs> now that the center fielder, Alan Santos. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Robertson at second, hey, Torres no better, huh? out at no first better. with nobody out. Hey, keep it going up there. Clutch up. You're next. Oh. Next offering upstairs. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. You leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. 
Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boog. It's all about creating opportunities, and okay. this is one of them right here. Base is loaded. Nobody out. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Nolan Gorman. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance beat. There's one and two. In time to first for the double play. Two on, one out. And now the center fielder, Alan Santos. All right, let's sit on something you like right here. Alan Santos. <laughs> Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. So bases loaded with one away. Here's the third baseman, Nolan Gorman. That one the other way. A dive, and he can't haul it in. In to score. Another comes in to score, and they take a two-run lead. Fires the second too late, and he's got a double. Here's the catcher, Ali Sanchez. You got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Throw behind the runner. They've got him double. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Ready to hit? So clutch. You could argue that he's been this team's MVP this year. And that's in there for strike one. Well, he got away with the mistake right there. A curveball that backed up a little bit, stayed high in the zone. You won't want to throw that one again. Here's your one. And a swing and a miss. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Little rip right here. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. So clearly just back here at the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the second. And now here is Brandon Lewis. The third baseman. That's out to center field. Santos moving under it. He makes the grab. One up, one down. Here's the center fielder, Alan Santos. Now back, the center fielder, Alan Santos. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. All ones account. Cap dances out of the way of that one. I see it. Drive it. Let's go, big dog. Swing and a miss. One ball. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Bangs off the wall. In its second, no play. And a run comes in to score. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. He hit that ball really well, the deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the drive. Tries the bare hand, and it gets by him. And he'll be safe at first. Brendan Donovan, the next to hit. Left-hand hitter waits. Right side. Makes the grab. Runner tags from third. He's in on the sacrifice fly. And they're up by three. Oh, well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know this. Alan Santos digs in now. The center field. Alan Santos. First offering way inside. Almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Hey, let her rip. Let her rip. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific fight at the end. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. Aldrich DeYoung. 
Now at the plate. The bat. Number 35. Kicks and deals. Out there to center. Santos gets under it. Makes the catch for the out. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say, man, it's second here with two away. And now the center fielder, Alan Santos. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Swings through that one. 0-1. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. And it's second. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And that is that. Welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now, Brandon Lewis. Leading off for Tulsa. The third baseman. Brandon. This one in the air center field. Santos makes the play. And there's one down. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce it. Here's the center fielder, Alan Santos. All right, your pitch coming right here, right now. Center. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. And it's a ball and a strike. No doubt swinging for a four-run homer right there. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious, and now in a two-strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really make sure he has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. Leonard makes the catch, and that'll do it. The bases, now the third baseman, Brandon Lewis. The batter, the third baseman, Brandon. 2-2 two -two now. Lewis. Back up the middle in a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying toast. Batting third, the center fielder, Alex <laughs> Santos. You like the can right there. Square it up. First pitch doesn't Nicely, find the zone. Nicely. Yeah, come on now, big guy. That's to third. Whips it across. Out number three. End of a half inning. Of One out, base is empty. And stepping in is the speedy Leonel Valera. That's shortstop. Leonel. And that one lifted in the air center field. A little bloop single. So now here's the DH. Miguel Vargas. The designated hitter. Me down. Two on, two outs. Into center. Santos settles underneath it. And that is the inning. Hey, he hangs and and he welcome hangs. back. And now the center fielder, Alan Santos. With the right hander back to work. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. 0-2 now. Stays alive. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And now one away. So two down, Alan Santos will hit now next. The seventh field. Alan. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Oh, this is deep to left center. Way back there, on its way, gone. He'll touch them all, and they inch closer. It's 6-2. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Jason Martin getting ready to hit for the fourth time tonight. Now batting, center fielder, Jason Martin. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. 
Puts the squeeze on it. Two down. So first and second with two outs. Here's the center fielder, Alan Santos. He's already homer here in this one. That one's in there, 0-1. All right, come on now, one time, let it fly. Next pitch misses, ball one. The next offering misses, and it's two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. That one missed. The three one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. And yeah, there's ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. 3 2. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Good patience to take that walk and keep the line moving, and it sets up a critical at bat coming up with the bases loaded here. Swing and a high fly ball to left. De Young makes the catch, and that'll do it. Bottom of the eighth, and yeah, the batter now, Miguel Vargas. Leading off for the wind of the pitch. The designated hitter, Miguel. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. He's two outs away. And now the center fielder, Alan Santos, one for three. Center. And that's in there for strike one. Yo, know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second Give base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. In the dirt. This one finishes with a final of 7-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambis, next to hit. Batting third, the center fielder, Allen Santa. And that one in the air, center field. Rodriguez makes the catch, and that'll do it. Number 79, now at the plate. Batting fifth. The catcher, number 79. That's towards center. Santos drifts towards it. He's got it. And that is out number three. We pull. Alan Santos digs in down. Now He's Alan, 0 for 1. Alan Santos. Next offering is down low. Yeah, that's ball one. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. Inside and it hit him. You know, Boog, you always say how important it is to have a good feel for the game. I, I say after the game, you step into the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. And that'll load the bases. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Next pitch is outside. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. 3-1 is on the way. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely hey, getting away from him. Let's go, big dog. Hey, let it rip here. And now the lefty the other way. <laughs> inning ends, and that stops the bleeder. Ready to go, bottom four. Now, Miguel Vargas. Leading off for the Thrillers, the designated hitter. Now fly ball to right center. 
Santos sizes this one up, puts it away for the out. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of Ready now for the fifth inning. Stepping in, Alan Santos. First pitch is in the dirt. Here we go now. Come on now, one time. There's the strike. One and one. Check swing, but he went too far. One and two. They say it went. Gets it to first. One up, one down. And now it's going to be Alan Santos. Now the center fielder. Alan. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance and send him back to the dugout. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the bottom of the seventh. And the batter will be the shortstop, Eddie Slayanar. Not shortstop. Eddie. Out to center. And a base hit right there. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch. So bottom of the ninth. And now the shortstop, Eddie Slano. Not shortstop. Eddie. In the air out to center. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And there's one down. 4-1 the final here today for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding toes. Batting third, the center fielder. Allen. First off, oh, and it take. just misses. Ah, great take, great take. Ripped, but it curls foul. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Strike two. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious, and now in a two-strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and right through there, got him. Third out. And a play. Batting second. The second baseman. Layton. In the air, center field. Santos under it. Brings it in, and there's two down. And here is Alan Santos. He was a strikeout victim his first time. They say he went. Come on, let it rip right here. Comes up empty on the swing, going yep. two now. Hey, let it rip, let it rip, let it go. Next one misses, and the count one and two. The count is one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second. One away, runners at first and third. And now the center fielder, Alan Santos. So clutch. You could argue that he's been this team's MVP this year. Hey, let her rip one time. Next pitch is in the dirt. And the count is one and one. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Grounder might be two. Over to second for one. And it's a double play to end the inning. Aldrich DeYoung will hit next. One down, base is empty. High fly ball out to center field. Santos has a beat on it. He's got it, and there's two away. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome. It seems like 
Next to hit, Miguel Vargas. Now batting, the designated hitter, Miguel. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Santos settles under this one. And that is the third out of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Alan Santos. Now batting, the center fielder, Alan. And yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing in war. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. Three. And down on strikes. Two gone. Call a tough night at the dead. One down, runner at first. Number 13, okay. the next 13. to hit. Second baseman. The tying run at the there plate. Line and a base hit into right. Man, headed for the plate. He scores, and now they trail by one. And the tying runs aboard with a leadoff. 3 2, the final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at Evan. That first full season can be exhausting, and it can make it a little harder to develop when that physical fatigue gets in the way of your focus. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, this is uh, the most games you've ever played in a whole entire life consecutively. So it takes a toll on your body and also on your mind. So it's very important to come out with some strategies in order to weather the storm because it's a difficult one. Of course, as you go through that season, you're seeing what's going on around you. You're seeing how evaluators, both inside and outside of your franchise, are looking at you and your teammates. How do you deal with that and block out the distractions? This is a great question because this is absolutely true. You know, you see how the rover, hitting rover comes in. You see scouts coming in. The, the infield instructor rolls in. And you know they're judging you. They are assessing your skill you have to put that to the side. You have to forget about all that. Who's ahead of me? It doesn't really matter. What matters is the here and now and focusing on the process. Having earned a chance to compete for a league championship, these young competitors have gained the respect and fondness of a grateful skipper. Game one, and we are ready to go. And now, Aaron Zavala. Leading off for Frisco. 0-2 oh, now. now. Aaron Zavala. And that one lifted in the air center field. Santos under it makes the grab one away. So up next, Alan Santos. Batting third. The center okay, field. Let's go right here. Alan Santos. Next pitch downstairs. One and oh. Perez stands at first with one out. Reagan's no, keeping an eye on him. He's a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. The one two. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Here's the center fielder, Alan Santos. He was a strikeout victim his first time. This one lifted in the air, left field. Walker makes the catch, and that'll do it. In game and now the DH, Josh Smith. Now back, designated hitter, Josh Smith. Into center, Santos under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. Runner tags from third. It's a sack fly as he comes across to score. It's 2 nothing. 
So two down now, and here is Allen Santos. Center five, Megan. Santos. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is fouled back. Get your pitch. Line drive, caught. So they pick up a run. It's no errors. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Julio Pablo Martinez. The 2 1. Out towards right center field. Dives, but it falls. Could be extra bases. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in score. No outs, runner at first. And now the center fielder, center Alan field. Santos. Alan. Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And he's down 0-2 oh, oh, as he swings right. through it. Big time GM right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. Backed off the plate that time. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Next pitch just misses. And the count is 2-2. Two and two. Not close with that one. Full count now. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. And here is Alan Santos. Now right right spot. In there, and it's 0-1. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Next pitch is outside. Keep it going, your turn. Looking good, no one better up there. Here we go. This one popped up, foul ground, first base side. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. One down. So Chris, here's a look at the final numbers from what turned out to be a really close ball game. Yeah, this is one of those games that clearly could have gone either way. And that's kind of exactly what you final. final. Here's the center fielder, Toast. That is third. Hey, one pitch right here. Come on now. Center. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Romeri leads off first with one away. Hey, see it and rip it up there, kids. See it and rip it. Aye. In the dirt. Committed to that breaking ball just a little too much. Back here at the ballpark. Second inning set to go. And here's the first baseman, number 25. Number 25. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. And out number one on the ground. Welcome back, set for the bottom of the third, and now the center fielder, Leading Alan up. Santos. The center fielder, Alan. Swing and a miss, 1-1. Oh, Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one.
Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. And it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. And now the first baseman, number 25. The batter, number 25. And a pitch. This one in the air center field. Santos on his way over. Makes the grab for the second out. Throw comes in quickly as the lead runner at third gets the stop sign. Now the catcher up to hit. Jordan Procession. The catcher. The wind of the pitch. Jordan Procession. That's out to center field. Santos should have this one. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Base is empty with two away. Digging in, Alan Santos. The center fielder, Alan. And that's in there for strike one. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Next one in the dirt. Hey, one time, right now. Here we go. Bounce to the left side. Sends it to first. Inning over. Here's the center fielder, Alan Santos. Now batting. The center fielder, Alan Santos. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Out to short, into the outfield, base hit. Run comes in from second, it's 8-2 to first, and he beats it, everyone's safe. First and second, two down. And now the right fielder, Moises Gomez. And he's already singled in this game, and they're all loaded up. So close to getting out of it right there, but this inning still has life. And here's the first baseman, Lucan Baker. And he deals. And a swing and a miss. That's the third out. And now the center fielder, Alan Santos. Now batting, center fielder, Alan Santos. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh no doubt swinging for a four-run homer right there. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Win at third, Perez on second, Romero at first with no outs. Next offering upstairs. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. Next one is off the plate. Counts full, three and two. And he walked it. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. The throw to second, and he'll keep it for just the one. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess it's... A well, Cindy, it wasn't pretty, but here's another look at the final line. Yeah, Boog, this one wasn't close. Not a lot of drama at the end, either. A manager challenges his players to improve their championship odds by seeing so we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You all have a great day, and peace out.